Hello everyone, my name is Giorgio and this is how to get started in Ozu. If you found out about Ozu, I'm guessing you already downloaded it and tried the tutorial. And now you're wondering, what do I do now? Well, first thing, you can go on the site, on the download page, there is a link specially made for starters, for some simple maps which you can play and which will tell you if you actually like the game or not, because the tutorial, let's face it, is just a way to learn, not a way to find out if you actually like this game or not. So, you go to the download page and click this link, you will find yourself in a forum page. There is a lot of text, but you don't give a damn about that, right? Just click on the links and download the songs. Once you've done that, you take these songs and you place them in the folder inside your auto folder called songs. The files are .osz and you do not need to do anything with them, just place them into the song folder and start Ozu. Ozu will automatically update your songs and you will be able to play just like this. So after you've played these basic songs, if you're still thinking, wow this game is good, I would like to play some more, what do I do? You once again go on the site and I recommend you go under the bitmap and the bitmap packs. In this page you will find a lot of packs. What are packs? Packs basically are a group of songs already put together, so you don't need to download every single song because that gets very boring. That is why I highly recommend to download a few of these new, starting from the newest packs, and just play whatever you want. Of course you will only be able to play what is at your level, but that's good enough, because you don't need to start from the hardest difficulty. Actually, I would recommend you to play all the difficulties you are able to at the moment. So let's say you can do a 2 star map, you should also play all the 1 star maps. 1 star maps are the easiest, 5 stars are the hardest. Actually 5 stars are kind of a war by themselves, but that's something we will talk later on. But if you are someone who does not generally like Japanese music or anime music, you might be thinking, I don't want a pack full of these kind of songs, what do I do? Well, in that case you go on the site, but instead of going into the bitmap packs, you just go into the single bitmaps page. There you can just choose the type of song you want, so if you want rock, you can choose that, if you want electronics, you can choose that, and then you are going to pick your own single songs, and you will be able to play them without any other problems. So even if you don't like the generic type of music or the most common type of music that populates Ozu, you can still play and enjoy Ozu with other types of songs. So at this point you know how to download every song you prefer and how to download a lot of songs easily, so you should be able to start up and enjoy your first time in Ozu. Once again, I personally recommend downloading bitmap packs for the simple reason that having a huge variety of songs is better because you will get used to a lot of different type of maps instead of just doing the same four. It is also a lot more entertaining because just hearing the same four songs over and over you will get bored of that eventually. So with this in mind I hope you will be able to enjoy your first times in Ozu and I will see you in the next video where we talk about how to read the scores you get and how to read the rankings, global rankings, local rankings and what to do to improve those rankings. So this is all for now, I'll leave you guys with some gameplay of a map which I kind of remember because I always found it much harder than it should have been. Maybe I was just bad. <laughs> anyway, this is all and I'll see you guys the next time.